Hey guys, the wuss here, and I am back, finally, after a really long hiatus, to play a very special game called Swan Song. Now apparently this is a post-apocalyptic visual novel type thing, which seems to be very well made considering this very kawaii desu female right here. Hope it's a female. Very effeminate man. Uh, they also have voice settings, which I turned the women on, kept the men off so that I could do something and I'm keeping women on because I can't do women if I could I would prologo oh god is this in Spanish oh please don't be in Spanish I don't want to have to restart this again okay on the other side of the door is a world covered in snow oh so pretty it's Christmas oh god this person has a shit ton of Christmas trees the lights of the town color the pure white snow. On the front door hangs a wreath with a red ribbon and bells covered in soft white powder. The empty street is covered in a fluffy layer, burying my legs to the ankles whenever I take a step. A gentle crunch humbly whispers in the tranquil world. The objects falling from the pitch black sky do not look like snowflakes at all. The wind has died down and they dance around my body. They look more like feathers. They look like smudges started snowing around noon and it shows no signs of stopping the weather forecast said that we'll be getting a record amount of snow this year snow isn't anything new around here but the weatherman smiled and said that the snow makes for a white Christmas those words made me realize that today is December 24th so we're gonna have a snow apocalypse an ice age we're gonna meet Sid the sloth and save an Eskimo baby even with that information I have nothing special to do as I don't have any plans or arrangements so he's single. I tried doing some suita something suitable for the season by playing some Christmas music while practicing my piano, but it didn't cheer me up. You can play the piano. Why don't you ser serenade some senoritas? Get some putitang. I gave up and returned to spending the day like every other holiday, dozing off at a kutatatatsu. The night wore on while I was dozing off, and it already and it's already past midnight. I'm getting really thirsty. There wasn't anything to drink at home, so I decided to walk to a vending machine. It was also a chance to walk in the first snow of the season. I left without an umbrella. It's snowing harder than I expected, so my body is stained white as if flour was blown on me. The night air and the snow hit my naked face, making it feel as if I dipped it in ice water, like PSL ice bucket challenge. It does feel good since my body is hot from being in the katatatatatsu but it's troublesome since I'll have to take a shower when I get home. Why? This is water. This is frozen water. Heck, when it rains hard and I go outside, I'm just like, hey, well, this is my shower for the day, and I'll be good. The road descends gently, and I take care not to slip as I walk. Hey, look, it's Coca-Cola and Peppy. Pep, pep, pep. After I finally make it to the vending machine, I brush my clothes off, and then I shake my head to get the snow out of my hair. I put the hand grip I was holding in my right hand in, into my pocket and take out my wallet. What the fuck is a hand grip? I can't handle the coins well because my, of my thick glove and I can't feel my fingers even when I take the glove off. They must be numb from the cold, which makes things difficult. How far away was this vending machine? Giving up, I tilt my wallet instead and drop the coins into my hand. You kept coins in your wallet? That's stupid. All that does is when you, like, it bunches up and it, when you sit down it pokes you in the butt and then when you stand up it looks like you took a shit. Man, that's a pain in the ass. What's your life? I push a button and the drink comes down with a heavy sound. I pull the tab open and take a sip. The warmth of, oh, you took a sip. The warmth of the hot, sweet hot chocolate pleasantly spreads throughout my body. I then turn back to the road I came on. I didn't think about it on the way, but I regret that I didn't bring an umbrella considering the walk home was in snow. I drink half the can on the spot to make it lighter, The whole, hold the can in my mouth, and put my glove back on. After I put my glove back on, I drink the rest and throw the can away into the trash can next to the, wet, next to the vending machine. I then take my first weary steps back home when suddenly I lose sensation in my feet. Oh shit. Shit's about to go down, isn't it? I know shit's about to go down. Oh my god, everything's shaking. Oh god, why? Why? This is going to be so hard to read. 
I thought perhaps I'd stepped into a gutter. I don't feel the usual sensation from my feet, lose my balance, and fall onto on my hands. My glasses fly off somewhere from the impact. I try to get up, but can't. My hands bounce up and down, useless on the ground, unable to support my body. I fall on my back into the snow. A thunderous roar shakes the air and pierces my eardrums. This is going to hurt my eyes. At first, I think that a bomb has been dropped. That's how intense the impact is. Hiroshima! I can't grab the ground no matter how hard I try, and I can't get up. Bewildered, I think my limbs have gone crazy. Uh, no, I think it's an earthquake, dude. I managed to lift my face and look at the road ahead of me. I doubt what I see. What, do you see Santa? You see Santa? Don't oh, no, you don't. The asphalt is rippling. The buildings are bending like jelly. I finally understand that my body is perfectly normal and that I can't get up because the ground is shaking violently. It wasn't just an initial impact, it's still shaking. Yes, it is, and it's annoying. Oh god, this is even worse. The instant I realize that it's an earthquake, my body is flung into the air and the world disappears again. I hear the vending machine fall behind, falling behind me. The ground rages like a wild horse. I'm rolling around so much that I can't tell which direction the sky is and which is the ground. I'm bouncing on the asphalt like a roasted bean. That's weird. I hit my back on something hard, then something soft covers my body. I see a white for an instant, but the light is quickly shut out by something. It seems I'm buried in snow. I think for a second that I've been buried alive, but my body is pushed above ground and bouncing on the snow in the next, the next instant. Um, I don't get it. My, I close my eyes, curl up, and hold onto my head. You go into the field position. Yep, that's good. You know your shit. I hear sounds of trees breaking and things exploding. Large, heavy objects are violently hitting the ground around me. It feels like time is flowing slowly. My head remains calm, remains calmer than I'd expect in this slow passage of time, and I'm able to think about a lot of things. I already know that this is an earthquake, and this is a monologue. Its magnitude must be much larger than anything I've ever experienced. I recall a TV program go doing an experiment on earthquakes and seeing tables bounce around like living creatures. I w would I look like that to an observer standing on in a calm place? But being the one experiencing it, I can't tell how much it's shaking. Maybe it's not shaking as hard as I feel it. Maybe I'm imagining things because of the darkness and the snow. Oh god, he's getting philosophical. Oh my god, no, please, no. But the op my optimistic thought is quickly rejected. The asphalt is tearing, the buildings are collapsing, and the rubble is dancing on the ground along with the snow. The town is quickly being destroyed. It looks like a dream. This is no ordinary earthquake. <coughs> the rubble continues its dance. I take part as my body bounces up and down. It feels like I've dove into a blender. My limbs might be cut off if I carelessly stretch them out. I don't know how much hope there is in my sur survival, even if I do everything right. I'm completely helpless against this overwhelming energy. All I can do is curl up, hold my head, and leave everything up to luck. It feels like I turn into a grain of sand. Keep calm, sit down, and call Batman. I forget fear and let nature take its course. Wait, so you, you shit yourself? You shit and pissed yourself. Now you're bouncing up and down in your own shit and piss. Well, that went from bad to worse. I can't tell how long it's been. Common sense tells me it hasn't been long. It felt like I was rolling around for an hour or two, but it should have been five or ten minutes at most. It, maybe it was merely two minutes. The time between each tremor gets longer, and the shaking calms down. I sense that the earthquake is settling down. The world eventually regains its silence, and the snow leisurely continues to fall, as if nothing has happened. Fortunately, I'm laying in the snow, neither buried nor smashed. Then why is the screen still shaking? Please stop. Thank you. My field of vision rises and expands as I casual I cautiously get up. All of the electric lights in the town have gone out at once, and a deep darkness has swallowed the scenery. All I can see is a field of pure white snow.